Oh, that was awesome. Why are you grabbing your cock? Why are you grabbing your cock? Yeah! I got something for you, Louie! Wow! It's her. Say what's up for uh, TJ and friends. I'm low key at the show today. I'm just high driving home. So DD, just want to be on your video. Come on, on your I got videos. something what's for you, everybody. All right, I'm out of here. See you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Tyler. This one's for you, buddy. Back here again, less than 24 hours. October 6th, 2019, we're here for G Raver, a brother in the deathmatch world, a guy who's risked it all, been in Japan, been to Mexico, he's been to Canada, done his fair share and everything. Now you know what, we're here for him tonight. Eight matches, eight death matches, hardcore matches, regular matches, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Jimmy Lord, Kyle the Beast, Tony Deppin. Uh, Marcus Crane, Schlack, and Danny Havoc making his return to professional deathmatch I'm wrestling for, that. for one night only. So if you're not here, you missed the fuck out on that one. Taking on Matt Tremont, Eddie Only, Eric Ryan, Nick Gage's open challenge here tonight. Who will answer the challenge? Will it be? Uh, who knows? It could be one of the students, Marcus Mathers. It could be Mark Angel, uh, Jimmy Lyon, Connor Claxton, Drew Blood, Devin Moore. You never know. Who will answer the open challenge? If you're not here, you're missing out on a lot of action tonight. Death matches, hardcore matches, regular matches, specialty matches, you name it. Tonight is the night for G Raver. We're here to raise money for him. G Raver recently, as you guys know, suffered a tragedy, cut his artery in his arm, messed up a bunch of nerves. Uh, I've been speaking to G Raver a lot lately. He might be out of wrestling for two to three years, depending Holy on shit. when. And uh, if he gains more, you know, as rehab goes on, if he continues to produce better than what he's doing, uh, maybe a little less than that, we're trying to cut that down. Uh, he should be able to be tattooing nine to ten months, hopefully, if he regains everything back in his arms. At least a little bit of movement here and there. But, you know, I've been saying it for a while. This is H2 Wrestling. We're the new breed, the new company making our way up. In one month, the Deathmatch Extravaganza goes live around the world on Fight TV. It'll be live in Japan, in Mexico, Canada, Europe, the UK, Germany, England, you name it. h 2 is taking over. It's our company. This is our home, the h Wrestling Center. Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall, Williamstown, New Jersey, 1041 Glassboro Road. And uh, tonight we're going to kill it for G Raver, raise money for him. This is H2O, this is family. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Louie. <laughs> Look who's actually at H2O. I'm always at H2O. No, you're not. There was H2O last night. You weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm here uh, in everyone's hearts and minds. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't miss the benefit show, so. Yeah, dude, Graver, Brandon, love you so much, We love dude. you, buddy, man. We're all here for you, dude. Alright, let's go back in there. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm hungover, I'm sorry. <laughs>
drink to that. DJ's yeah. a bitch. You ain't shit. Shut up.
I know, when that happens to me, I just let it, I finish it always. This has got to be it, it's coming down. Oh, 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 Almost. 
was there. Yeah, when I was just standing up there, I had to fart so bad. And the only no, the only reason why I didn't do it is because she's sitting next to me, not because of you. I would have ripped it right there if she wasn't there. <laughs> Come on, Tara. Come on, Tara. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh my God. Come on, girl. You got I'm always this. afraid they're going to fall on me over here. One of these days, too. I know. It's happened already. What is this woman beating going? They used to say it's it. is a bouncer and I would hate to be someone that pisses him off at the bar. <laughs> he would fuck you up. Oh, no, oh, how are you gonna fuck? spit on her? Save that shit for the bedroom. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible today. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Save it for the bedroom. I'm, so I'm, I'm horrible. <laughs> Sack skin today? Sack skin? Oh god, oh man. We'll wait till the perfect moment for that to come up again. That was great. Chuck's setting up some chairs. Oh fuck, get out of my way, ref. They killed him! That's it. That was awesome. Why are you grabbing on the cops? Why are you grabbing on the cops, bro? Drew, we never do this without you. Well. What? Yeah. Oh, cops. Take it out of the frame. It ain't going to fuck John, though. What are you guys doing? Did you come here and wrestle or act like a bunch of people?
loves blood. Yes, he does. Connor. Gotta bring him some blood for now. <laughs> Connor still has his sunglasses on. I guess. I there they go. They're gone. Yeah. Oh, he's putting them back on. Yeah. Yeah. I got something for you, Louie. Wow. Oh, wow. It's her. <laughs> what are you packing, Louie? What are you going to play with today? A dildo. No, oh, you know what I'm saying? I got this thing. Dildo. 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 It's the battle of the dildos again. By the way, if you haven't seen their battle of the dildo match, it was pretty amazing. Blow up the awesome. That's Sean Henderson's day off. Double dildo. Give me It's like a giant, giant gummy worm. <laughs> when I was a kid, huh? Oh. You're okay, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> what? Honey, you're so far. Yeah, what a I don't need to do shit in my mouth. You take it. 
Jesus is back in the field. Yay! Yeah. 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 got his job back! Shut up! This next contest is the G Ranger Benefit Battle Royal. Next up, the Battle Royal.
there. You know? <laughs> He's like, that's important there. <laughs> he thought about it. He's like, nah, I don't want to knock the beer over. Or maybe he cared about us. I don't Mission time. Just want to say what's up for uh, TJ and friends. I'm low key at the show today. I'm just high, driving home. So DD, just want to be on your video because I'm on your I videos. got something what's for up, you. everybody. All right, I'm out of here. See you. <laughs> I love you, Tyler. Today. He'll be more amped up later after his match. So I found this man back yeah, there. Man. I don't think Nick I need to introduce Nick him. Nick King, Nick fucking Gage, here in fucking Williamstown, New Jersey. I hate this fucking town if you really fucking... <laughs> I hate Williamstown. <laughs> but I'm here because G. Raver's here, and G. Raver's my fucking brother. So I'll support, try to do whatever I can do to get that man what he needs, man. But, uh, all you fake motherfuckers out here doing my shit, and doing it real fucking shitty. Stop doing that shit before you get fucking hurt. I'm gonna send somebody to where you're at, wrestling at some fucking shitty show, and fuck you up. Stop doing my shit and stop doing it shitty. You ain't no deathmatch wrestler because you got shit in the ring that has bar wire on it. So stop saying you are because you fucking suck. You put this shit around too, man. Well, where's the shit go, TJ? We got a YouTube channel. Yeah, YouTube channel, oh, TJ and Friends. So, man. anybody watch this YouTube channel and you're a friend of fucking TJ's or whatever, and you see shitty ass deathmatch wrestling, just start yelling, it fucking sucks. <laughs> and if they have a problem with it, you say, Nick Gage told me to say it. And then you come fucking see me. I'll never back down from another man. Never have, man. Never man. I'm the fucking man around here. MDK, baby. All fucking day, man. I run shit everywhere I go, man. Every locker room I go in, I don't switch my style up because I'm at some show. I do me. The way I do shit. That your car made me fucking take out the fucking out of there. Really? Yeah, man. I got wow. I got respect for uh, yeah, I get Wagon it. Bush is a wrestler, man. He's fucking good. So I was like, all right, I'll do it for you guys. You can still see it, though. Yeah, man. Did you watch man. it once yet? It's right nah, yeah. man. I just do this back on, man. <laughs> but uh, TJ, man, you're my friend. You're my boy, Nick. Anytime I love you. you see me, you always give me a pound and a hug. Fucking respect that shit. Thank you, man. Anybody fucking not watching you, TJ and friends, I'm gonna fuck you up and I'm gonna send somebody to your house that's gonna murder your family. <laughs> I love you, Nick, man. MDK all fucking day. Shout out to fucking 2 6. Free my boy out of prison. Fuck yeah, man. Around. Killed in the ring, brother. Yeah, I will, man. Do my thing.
What a dick. <laughs> About the weirdest thing. It's weird. Let's go over here. Let's go put this. Let's go put this on. Tag team deathmatch. Fans bring the fucking weapons. Cinder blocks again. Uh. We're gonna start with our fists and our feet, and then we'll get the weapons involved after we do some of the boring stuff. Oh. No. of each other almost. Yeah. <laughs> 
done MMA shit for Bullet Blood Sport and other yeah. companies too. He, just, yeah. he can he, he can, can do it. His, his skills with Beyond too. Beyond the shit. Yeah. Dirty Daddy. Sean's not gonna kill anything. <laughs> the only thing Sean kills is his dick in his bedroom. <laughs> kid's like, dude, he's like, he's like one fourth the size of him. Yeah. Hey, he's like a little boy, right? Yeah, he's he tiny. Is. Yes, he is. <laughs> I fear for him. <laughs> Sean's a tough kid, though. But man, Dickinson's a fucking animal. Those great wrestlers. Oh. This is going to be some stiff wrestling right here, man. I don't see, well you might see a door pop up, we don't know about that, you never know. Nice of you to remove that thumbtack. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Fuck that, leave it in there. Come on, off the rope. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking Come on, Chris. Powerbomb the shit out of him. <laughs> Nothing better than a power bomb by Dickinson, man. Especially when it's on the floor. I just hope he doesn't get him on the floor. Oh, 
Oh shit. Dirty Daddy's taking it easy on it. Not for long. Remember, it's not about size, man, or strength.
listen, man. I got a phone call from that piece of shit, Slack. And yes, man, you want to wrestle for a benefit show for me? And I said, fuck you. You're my fucking dead brother. I'll do anything for you. Video, make sure you get a copy of that shit. By the time you see this, this will have already been released for months. Whatever there, 
your support. I'm sure it'll be going towards G in a way. I don't know. God damn it. You clit. Fuck you, Clint. Come on, kid. MDK. 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 MDK.
take a piss so bad. What the fuck is that? Got like a little cult meeting going on over here, man. Yeah, a little cult meeting. Look at him. Doing something shady over there. They're over there doing that vape, the vape pens, man. The stuff that kills people, unlike cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your podium, man? You standing up on the podium? Pedestal. That's a pedestal. So I can look down on all you. <laughs> what do we usually do? Put pussies on the pedestal. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah. So we should put Stoffer up there. Yeah. <laughs> put the pussy on the pedestal, man. All the way up top. <laughs> <laughs> King of trash. Main
is Danny Havoc, dude, without a fucking doubt. The boy can wrestle like a motherfucker. Original. Original was in the mid 2000s. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, reach up in there, girl. Reach up in there and grab that beer. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, I'm broken at the store and they couldn't sell it. So they're like, ah, right, here you go. $10 discount.
bundle. With gussets oh, attached, yeah. by the way. Didn't see that. They were on the canvas. Motherfucker! Woo! Oh, fucking gussets on light shoes. Dreamer and Havoc. Oh, fuck. Stiff as fuck. Oh my god. Danny, look at him just stuck. Got the bag. Danny's got the gussets yeah. stuck in his back. Oh my god. Oh. couldn't see where he was at.
is in this ring and is every single each and one of you guys. When your brother goes down, you gotta do what you gotta do to help him back up. Rainbow, you're a fucking man. Yeah! I'm looking kind of in the other way. I'm glad we did it here. You're a fucking man. just in general, and I like to think that even though I have a hard time accepting this stuff, that I like to think that this is for wrestling, and not for me, for fucking wrestling. Yes! Fuck you, Don't do this, Russell. man. Russell, grab me, this. grab me, grab me, grab me. You meant the world to me to see him in the rain. What, right now. Devin. Devin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking landed on fucking light tubes and shit. Get the fuck out of here. We gussets. It meant the world to me. And to sit there and watch the whole show and be hyped with all of you guys. I hope you Yeah! I hope Woo! You enjoy the show. I swear to fuck, every fucking moment that I was out here sitting watching this shit, all I thought about is wanting to be a fucking part of it. Yeah! And that's the hardest fucking part, but I swear to fuck, as soon as I can, I'll be out here fucking doing it because there's guys out there that prove me fucking otherwise. Legless, armless, whatever it fucking is, those guys go out and kill it fucking too. So, and no
I put that fucking hybrid strap on you because you fucking earned it. You never bitched, you never complained, you fucking came in here and you killed it. You're a fucking man, man, and I can't thank you enough for that. I love you. Thank you. I'm just glad to be here and help out the row in a time of need. And that's really what everybody needs. Because life's fucking hard. And sometimes the whole gang of crazy motherfuckers can lift you up and make you do shit that you never thought was possible. So if I can be part of that, then I fucking won. Yeah! Thanks, man. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Rayla. Thank you to every single one of you guys. We can't do it without you. Thank you. God's room says to everybody. We got a shooting show tomorrow. We're back here on Halloween. Give them a slap. That was awesome. But anyway, I had to poop before the fucking match and I didn't want to miss it. I'm about to just take this and go out into the woods and uh, do my thing here. So. <laughs> All right, so I found this gentleman here. He wants to talk a little bit to us. He's wrestled with uh, which companies you wrestled for? Unholy Warfare, H uh, HCWA. My name is J W Dalton. I beat Connor Claxton, the TOD TOD 18, and um, I want to call out um, Devin Moore. <laughs> and um, I think um, I have much respect for him. He's one of the OGs of the uh, deathmatch scenes, but Devin Moore, your time's up, man. And J.W. Dalton is the man now. So if you want to, come and find me at Sub Retainment 666 in North Carolina. I'll be waiting. Thank you, buddy. Look who I found. Danny Tiberius had it, man. I just want to say thanks for coming back for at least this one time that we know of. I mean, uh, you know, I had a bunch of questions for him. I don't know, can I ask you real quick about uh, Fight TV coming up here with a... Uh... Watch it. Watch it? Do you think there's a chance you might actually perform? Yeah, we don't. No. This is for... Just the one-time thing for Gregor, Raven. man. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Definitely did. And I must say, I was telling him, you look smoother than ever, and he was saying, because I haven't had to fucking bump in a long time, man. You, when you don't hurt yourself for like, Yeah, man. You killed him there, dude. You look fucking smoother than a motherfucker. You look so talented. I can't stand you. I fucking love you, buddy. Be safe getting home, man. I can see man on his do one more just so you say just one more <laughs> <laughs> Can you see shirt? Oh. Um, there's not only one part of the show. What? Because I only have like. Do you want an eat? All right, so G's been having cameras all over him all night. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, buddy, man, for all you've done, and I know you're gonna have some rough times over the next, you know, next couple of years, man. And uh, just thank you, man, for all you do, man. I love you, man. I love you. Dude. This man is the fucking best, dude. And how cool was it to see Danny Havoc come back tonight, man? Dude, it was... I was geeking out. I was too, man. Every, I saw you. Every light tube bumpy took, man. I zoomed in on you a couple of times while you were watching. Yeah, dude. every fucking thing, dude. I was just. And he looked so smooth in there. Yeah, he did. We were saying how rested crisp. up he was, dude. It's like, yeah, when you could rest up for that long time, you man came in there, he killed. Dude, corkscrew. Yes, dude. He was in there like, and it looked so good. It was like, good Christmas shit. Fuck, man. There's nothing in there to like fucking on point. And you retire because of fucking finance. We get it, man, dude. 
But now that uh, H2O is going to be on Fight TV, so hopefully we can get Danny Havoc out of retirement within the next year or so. You never know, man. When the money starts coming, it's a whole different thing, man. It's Danny Havoc Metro with Death Magic Scrappy Ganza, man. We'll see what happens. If not this one, next year, definitely. He's going to... Guarantee, mark my fucking words, when the fucking money comes in, you'll see Danny come around. Right. It'll happen, man. Right. Again, I'll give you a hug. I love you to death, <laughs> Thank buddy. You, Thank you, man. Appreciate you being here, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Thank this you, This thing. <laughs> All right, Bulldozer. Right? Yes. Another successful uh, well, basically H2O show, man. Yeah. 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 This is going to be released on Smart Mark Video, right? Of course, 100%. Oh, awesome, man. So definitely go out there and purchase this, man. This show is solid as fuck. Yes. As you guys will eventually see this after it's released. So, <laughs> But uh, how cool was it to go in there with Havoc, man? I know you guys are going. Well, good, man. It's been probably since... <laughs> 2011 or 12? 2015 was our last match that we had. But it wasn't well, like that go in, you know, do everything you want to do type match. So it was, it was nice to be able to go in there and throw forearms with him again and do some shit. And he looked great. Yes, he did. You know, <laughs> but, so if, if it was a, a one-time only return, I, th I think uh, he was happy. The fans were happy. All the boys that were in the match were happy. We raised, you know, a few thousand dollars for G. Yes. Raver today. So successful weekend in the books. Students, and it's not even over. Student show tomorrow, then training the next day. So I, if I, I do three days of wrestling, my girl's gonna my, my girl's gonna murder me, man. Yeah. So, but no, nah, man. Thanks for chatting me, and thanks for always uh, doing always. what you do, brother. Thank you. Guys. One more question or two. Yes. Um, now I was saying to Havoc, I said now we got the Deathmatch Extravaganza, mm -hmm. Matt Tremont, Danny Havoc Deathmatch Extravaganza on Fight TV. What's the date for that? Uh, Saturday, November 16th. Get that shit on Fight TV, man. Yes. And I really wish that Havoc would come back, but you never fucking know. I mean, never know. you know, I think H2O is going to blow the fuck up now that they're on a, they're on a Fight TV. It's really going to take the, off for you guys, uh, man. It's the next step. You're going to have a whole new audience of people that had no idea who the fuck you were, and it's going to fucking blow up. And then yeah. you're going to see Havoc probably return next year for that. You know, I, I see him coming back. He'll get the itch. Once, yeah, he's going to get the itch, and he sees that. How much am I going to get paid tonight? Okay, I'm definitely there. So. All right, Matt. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Appreciate brother. it, man. Thank you, guys. Take care, man. Always, always. There is an impromptu match here with uh, Sean and Parrish. <laughs> their pants down. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home now. I want to thank Mark Angel for giving me a ride home. Much appreciated, dude. Always the second time a man came through for me. <clears throat> and uh, thank you, Joe, for leaving these in my fridge from last night, but I'm about to try it and see how it is. Ooh, that's a chocolatey, man. That's delicious. But the uh, show was fucking awesome, man. And I uh, just want to say thank you to all the fans, all obviously all the wrestlers, promoter Matt, everything, man. Uh, H2O is taking the fuck off, dude. And... Uh, this is another reason why just watching this show tonight will prove to you how dedicated everybody is to uh, this. To For that many people to come together to help G out is uh, truly fucking awesome, dude. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to check out the video. I'll probably come back, shoot the shit with you, depending on how long I can stay out, man. I'm kind of tired. i got to get my kids on the bus in the morning. Hopefully mommy can do it, but I think mommy's got work. I don't know. Ugh, I don't know what the schedule is. But uh, anyway, enough about enough about that. show was awesome. H2O family, man. G Raver Benefit Show was a shit. So let's go. Two nights of wrestling in a row. Make sure again as a show tomorrow night. Student show. I, I can't do three nights. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> I'll get to undiscovered eventually. Keep boo 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 boo. I pooping boo 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 boo. I pet the kitty on the poopy. Cat the kitty on. Cat pet the kitty on the shitter. Pet the kitty on the shitter. Yeah, hi boo boo. Boo boo. What you doing boo? What you doing? Boo boo. You want some toilet paper boo boo? I want some toilet paper boo boo. You want some toilet paper? Yeah, let's get the toilet paper. Let's wipe your butt. Yeah, wipe the tushy. Wipe the butt here. Wipe the tushy. Wipe the kitty tushy. Wipe the tushy. Meow. It's kitty softballs. Keep a boo. She loves to come in here when I poop with the door open. No kids. Nobody bothering me. They're all asleep. <sighs> yeah, finally shit. Great job. Hi, boo boo. Don't get my pee pee in there. Don't get your pee pee in there. Okay, okay, bye. Sorry, I had to see that. Boo, what everybody really wants to know is when are you gonna ride the Trevor robot, man? You know what I mean? The, like the Roomba kitties on the internet. Can you do that? Be a big hit sensation? Make some money for, uh, you know, cat food and cat litter and all that other crap as you wag your tail, little girl. 
I picked this kitty out, which is a baby. A little adopted kitty. I love her. She's like the sweetest cat. She is amazing. Alright, enough about that. I had to put the pull my pennies. Alright, so I just got done finishing the H2O G Raver Benefit Show at the H2O Wrestling Center, aka the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall. And before I really get into anything, I mean, thank you again, like I said earlier, for everybody that came by. Absolutely amazing to see people come together like that to help out their fellow wrestler that they love to watch in the fucking ring, including the wrestlers in the back. Um, but before I really get into it, I want to say, and I'm sure everybody is probably thinking the same thing, Danny fucking Havoc. Thank you so much for coming back and doing this this one-time thing, and I, I'm going to get into this a lot, and I'm sorry, this might be like a 15-minute rant, and I said I wouldn't do these anymore at the end of these videos, because nobody wants to hear me. <laughs> but Danny Havoc, Grant, you were absolutely fucking amazing in that ring tonight, dude, and after we chatted, like I chatted off camera with him for a little bit, and uh, you were just so smooth in there. You looked so good in there, and you know, the thing is with professional wrestling, you got to make the opponent look good, you can make anybody look good, and you were one of the most, if not one of the most talented uh, professional wrestlers I've ever seen, not just saying deathmatch, you do it all, dude, and to see you only be able to come back, like this is a one-time thing apparently, and as h show is going to have Fight TV, and it's your name on the goddamn card, like Matt Tremont, Danny Havoc, Deathmatch Extravaganza. I know I'm not saying you have to come back for that show, or ever if you want to. I mean, I don't know if it's like bodily damage. I know you're probably tired of getting fucking beat the fuck up, but like, as this shit, it's about timing, man. And as this shit is progressing, with Fight TV now, as you see GCW blow the fuck up, you were like one of their top prospects, obviously. And now H2O, man, like, I know you and Matt are tight, dude. You need to come back at least for these fucking fight pay-per-views, dude. You don't have to go... Week in and week out, just come back like once a month or once every month, whenever Matt figures out. I'm sure eventually H show is gonna be like GCW. They're gonna have pay-per-views like at least once, maybe even twice a month. I'm telling you right now, dude, there is such an audience out there for this. And my YouTube channel will prove it, man. Like there's tens and tens of thousands of views on this shit and people are just like, fuck, I can't wait to fucking see it. There's people that click on there in a heartbeat, dude. Um, but I'm just saying that you were one of the best workers in the ring that I've ever seen. And not just saying because I knew you back in the day uh, when you were in your, you know, earlier days, mid-2000s. Uh, when you worked with uh, CZW and me and my old girlfriend, your old girlfriend, or wife, whatever the hell she was, man. Remember we would hang out. She would, uh, my girl would make out with your girl. And we had good times, man. But anyway, besides all that shit, man. But uh you just blew my mind tonight, dude. You were so smooth in there, and I know you had, you were very well rested up, and I know it sucks that we all gotta go and do our nine to five and other shit, and uh, I'm guilty, I don't even have a nine to five, but I mean, my kids are like a fucking seven to fucking nine at night, so I mean, I guess I'm doing more than nine to five. Uh, but anyway, not about me, I'm just saying, like, you need to uh, come back in, because this shit is really gonna blow the fuck up. I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, look, I loved how AEW is doing their thing and they're taking off, but it's still the same old shit, dude. And I would be happy if you got signed with AEW so you can put your money away and rack up some dough, dude. Get a six-figure sum, man, 150 a year, dude, for three years. You you need a contract like that because watching Moxley, and I know Moxley and Janela will completely agree with me, dude. You were like one of the best workers out there, dude. And you said thank you to me, but I fucking mean it. I'm not alone, dude. Not just me, the fans, like the worker. Everyone knows, dude. You're just, you're so good at what you do, dude. Like, you couldn't have been more smooth in that fucking ring tonight. Um, sorry to say, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I want to ramble on, dude. Like, I want to see you fucking back because I feel like it's, it's wasted fucking talent, dude. And it sucks because that talent, just because, and we know we have to fucking make our money to get by and you had to figure out something. And Deathmatch Wrestling obviously wasn't paying the fucking bills, dude. I got to meet your wife tonight. She's fucking awesome, dude. I think she will completely support you. And as I was just saying to Matt tonight, I mean, I, I really feel like h is going to blow the fuck up. And just just, just come back, please, man. I literally get on my hands and knees like, hey, man. Look, 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 I'm on my fucking hands. I mean, I'm on, not on my hands. 
and my fucking knees. Danny Havoc, please come back, dude. Please come back. And I've never done this, man. I just, I just think you're one of the most amazing workers in the ring. And uh, honestly, after seeing uh, this is a G Rivers benefit show, if you think about a simple thing like the butterfly effect, um, this all happened honestly because G Raver was a fan of you. Uh, like I brought up before in previous interviews, I remember seeing, so get off my knees, sorry. Uh, <laughs> seeing Graver literally make figures of you, dude. And uh, you guys are always awesome to him, man. And look at him now, dude. You treat people good and it just blows my mind away, dude. Butterfly effect. Graver became successful because of you. And now you need to come fire the fuck off, dude, and uh, do your fucking thing. As you know, Graver's going to probably be out for, hopefully, it's not too long, but it could be up to two to three years, man. Uh, as I was chatting with him off camera, I mean, it, the, the grades probably like, oh, benefit show for him, but it's like, you know, he can't even go to work and do tattoos, dude. He needs at least nine months to leave more. It's nerve damage, dude. And you got to have a steady hand to do that shit, dude. Um, I don't know, as I say, I'm more, but uh, I don't know what else to say, man. But I, I really think that us fans here and everything, we're... We're uh, really doing a good thing here as we all continue to go to these shows and uh, as I share these videos with you guys and Matt allows me to and Brett Lauderdale from GCWI, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys, man. Thank you. Um, but this shit is like really going to take the fuck off, dude. And I watched AEW and it's cool shit that Joey's in there, man. And obviously Moxley is using W before, but uh, nothing will ever compare to H2O. GCW, I'm so glad I followed both these companies, man. They're my boys, my people, but they literally are probably the best thing going in professional wrestling today, man. I mean, we all grew up watching ECW and realized how fucking awesome it was, dude. This is literally like the little ECW bastard stepchildren Paul Heyman always fucking wanted, dude. And, uh, you know, Jim Cornette could do his whole work thing, and it's a fucking work, dude. It's just the way he gets more fans. So he's got his dedicated people that fucking love regular wrestling. That's the thing, like, H2O and GCW have all that to offer. The normal wrestling, the stiff wrestling, the lucha, the fucking death match. And that's what makes them so special. And um, if you don't enjoy this kind of stuff, then you're not a real true professional wrestling fan. Because if you can sit there week in and week out and watch the same old bullshit on fucking, fucking whatever, USA or they on, or Fox now, WWE, and they got AEW. Like, AEW's cool, oh, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm looking forward to seeing their pay-per-views and shit, but it's never, never gonna be as good as the indie scene. And, and I'm gonna always be there and fucking shoot as much as I can, man. And I'm hoping to release some of these backstage and ringside shit, you know, not for free for you guys anymore. I might have to figure out something. We're gonna at least get like one video here where we can just try to push it. Like, I really wanna release that GCW Backyard Wrestling show, maybe with GCW and Janela. I mean, I know I can just easily do it, but I would never do it, disrespect anybody. Like. But it's been taken down twice now on fucking YouTube, so like, let's start popping Blu-rays out or whatever. I don't know. Anything. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. Nothing but love for everybody tonight. The show was fucking awesome. Last night was fucking awesome. Then you got H2 again on Discover with the students. And these kids, man, I wish I could be there. We just like the 16th show, man. Every other Monday now. And I just can't make it because I know a lot of these kids got a lot of fucking potential, dude. And I'm not going to name names, but there's a lot I see, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to head to bed. I'm going to get my kids on the damn bus and do that thing. But fucking Danny Havoc. Please, please, dude, come back, man. Like I said, not week in and week out, just the big shows. You got to come back, dude. You got to come back, man. You're too talented to just sit around and do whatever you're doing today. I don't know what you're up to, but, man, people need to see you fucking worldwide now, dude. I mean, I know you've been to Japan and shit, do all shit, but now it's like a whole other fucking ball game, dude. Fight TV's really gonna blow the fuck up. Like I tell everybody, the algorithm on there, when GCW pops up, get notifications that H2O is gonna be on there. I haven't got it yet, because I haven't, like, it hasn't been pushed on yet, but it will. And all those people that have watched GCW, they're gonna go right to H2O. So get, get fucking back, dude. And if not, man, I love you to death. You know, you do your thing, man. I got nothing but respect for you, bud. But, uh, I don't know. Cut this off. Uh, remember the guys, everybody, stop judging, start loving, accept those that are. Just be yourself and meow. And as you saw my cat in there, I was trying to take a shit. <sighs> H2 fucking. Oh. We're waiting for that school bus. Look at you all handsome with your backpack and everything, man. Your little shoes. And Brody. Brody, what are you doing? Look at you, Brody. 
We're going to stand in here until the bus comes today. It's really cold out, okay? So we can see him right here. Show he beat the horn, which comes up. Daddy's got to cut all these bushes off so we can see better. Yes, ha 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 ha. You got to hold my hand and stuff. Ha 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 ha. Come on, give me your hands. Let's go. I'm going to open the garage. Give me your hands. Okay. Come on, let's go up. Let's go. Come on, 